I truly don't get it how this ends well. I really don't. A lot of Americans out there are tapping into HELOC, tapping into credit out there, investing in the stock market, gambling here and there, maybe fixing up their rental properties or buying properties right now as interest rates continue to move up and, and the Fed continues to hike rates and keep rates there for higher for longer. As they said, those were their words. Their words were higher for longer, not my words. And yet people are out there continuing to take out more and more credit. Now, before I get into that, my name is Daniel. You're watching InfoVest. InfoVest is an organization that promotes financial literacy, teaches you about the financial markets, the, you, utilizes macro knowledge, macro news, ties it in with stocks, bonds, commodities, currencies, and crypto. If you like content like that, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified on the next video and hit the like button and comment below if you want to hear about any other topics or suggestions that you may have, or maybe just something you wanna comment about this video. Now, let's get into it. I'll leave this article here in the description so you can read up on it, but it basically comes out from Bloomberg. It says, US homeowners are tapping nine trillion in real estate wealth. What does that even mean? Well, let's read the first Two paragraphs of this article it says a couple in Austin is using the money to fix up a rental house they own and help pay for three young kids to attend school a cop in Florida is playing the stock market others just like knowing there's cash available if there's an emergency that pops up what are we talking about welcome to the 2023 HELOC boom boom HELOCs. HELOCs are being utilized. They're being tapped in. Why? Well, because if you look at the real estate, how it's done, it's doubled since COVID, right? If you bought a home since 2020 or 2021 or before that, you're, you're massively on side. You massively made a lot of money on your real estate home, right? Now, if you want to tap into that, those gains, you probably don't want to sell your home. What will you do? You will probably tap into a HELOC. What is a HELOC? It stands for Home Equity Line of Credit, right? It's a line of credit. It, the, it only works once you start tapping into it. So, so it, you're, not, you're not paying interest on it right away. You get an X amount, let's just say hypothetically $200,000. And once you start utilizing that $200,000, let's say your limit is $200,000, whether you use 10 grand or you use a full 200,000, you're going to be paying interest on it and it's a debt. You owe it back to the bank. So in this article, it says here, Americans are increasingly tapping their greatest source of wealth, getting home equity line of credits to borrow against the value of their properties. With skyrocketing pandemic real estate rally, HELOCs have become more popular as mortgage rates surge from record lows, making cash out refinancing unattractive to most homeowners, right? So you could see that, okay, you know, in order to get some sort of money, instead of refinancing their whole home, let's go for HELOCs and this trend is starting to move up more and more, right? Ross and Sarah Ponder bought a house in Austin in 2018 for 560,000. Four years later, after COVID migration made the Texas capital one of the hottest markets in the country, the place was worth 1 million, 561 to 1 million. Amazing, massive gain. How do you take advantage of this? With three kids age, under, uh, age five and under, the Ponders decided in March 2022, March 2022 was when the markets, the real estate markets peaked because real estate prices tend to lag versus the stock market. Right? I understand stock market was selling off in 2022, but in real estate, it was really March around that level that, that peaked. So the Ponders decided in March 2022, let's take out a HELOC of $237,000. They had recently closed on investment property and the cash helped them make repairs and pay their kids tuition. They also found peace of mind knowing that they had some extra cash around. The Ponders basically said, Ross Ponder, who is a 39 year old real estate agent, said it's important to have options for getting money in a crisis. It helps us keep us 
liquid, cash liquid, which we prefer. Now, going on, typically with a HELOC, there's an upfront fee, right? An upfront fee that you pay and the interest doesn't get utilized, doesn't accrue until you use the funds. Now, homeowners with a mountain of equity, they can, and it can end up being a very costly option for them, especially because HELOCs have variable rates, not fixed rates. So the ponders were basically paying 7% interest rates and that jumped up to 8.7%. And we know from the Federal Reserve, they're continuing to hike and hike and hike. They said it in their last projections that they wanna do two more rate hikes this year. Obviously that can change. If the economy continues to do well, people are going to Taylor Swift concerts, buying, spending like crazy, people tapping into the HELOCs, spending, spending, spending there as well. Guess what the Fed does? Hey, the economy can handle it. Let's hike rates more, further up, maybe 6% interest rates, which means those HELOCs and those mortgage rates continue to go up, especially if they're on variable. So 8.7% could end up being 9%, 10%, 11%, 12%. At what level will people realize that, hey, getting excessive debt, taking it out right now may not be the wise option. Now, scrolling down into this article, it says, Still, you know, this HELOC, it's a way for people to take advantage of the value of their homes, get access to their cash, right? Especially for those who missed the refinancing boom. But when you look at the HELOCs and when you look at the popularity it has gained, right? As mortgage rates increase in history, when they rise, you tend to see a popularity of HELOCs. And last time this happened, was in 2020, uh, sorry, 2006, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, HELOCs were gaining popularity, right? Rates were going up in 2006, 2007, right? Rates were going up, HELOCs were going up and up. And then afterwards from there, you saw a big drop, right? 2008, big drop, still a big level of HELOCs were taken out in 2008, but a massive drop from 2007 because that's where the big, the great financial crisis happened. Real estate completely collapsed, right? And so as lending and many other things. And then afterwards, after 2008, it plateaued and then it kind of steadied and picked up a bit, right? Now, in 2022, we're seeing a massive jump, right, in HELOCs. People tapping in, HELOCs again, HELOCs again. Sounds familiar, right, 2006, 2007, right? And that jump is at levels back in 2008. So it'll be very interesting to see what 2023 looks like, right? Do we see an increase in those HELOCs? Because rates have been going up and they continue to rise. And as they continue to rise, you see that, they, according to this chart here in this, in this uh article, you see that HELOCs gain pop popularity as mortgage rates increase. Now, in this article, it goes on talking about other people looking for opportunities, taking out um, HELOCs, talks about this one guy, you know, who decided to take out a HELOC, was looking for investment property, couldn't really find find it out there. Because obviously, right, if you think about it for, ex for a second, if the returns you're getting on an investment doesn't at least pay off the cost of capital. It makes no sense to take that investment, right? So if you're paying 8% and the real estate is yielding you 6%, right? You're losing 2%. So what's the point of, of taking on the investment? You won't. So, uh, you know, summarizing here in this article, this guy was taking out money and then things start to get more expensive. So now he is basically utilizing that money and playing in the stock market, right? Because look, the stock market's up. The NASDAQ is up. It's 7% away from all time highs. Hey, something's going very well over there. So this real estate investor has now turned into a stock trader investor there and this person also trades options, playing with calls and, and puts and basically trades 30 to 60 days expiry options and um, try, he basically tries to make money from there and use that money to pay off the interest on his HELOC, right? So again, like it, it doesn't make 
too much sense here how this will not end well. I mean, you guys tell me. What do you think? Do you think this is gonna end well when you get a lot of people out there taking out credit at current levels where we're seeing in the markets with what the Fed is saying and everything? Does it make sense? Because what if, let's say you, let's say, because everybody, the markets right now are pricing in, there's no recession. But what if there is a recession? What if jobs and unemployment skyrockets? What if this person who's gambling that money loses their job? What happens then? Right? What happens to all this debt that people are accumulating, accumulating? You could see how this turns out to be a very, very bad situation. Anyways, you guys let me know. Leave a comment below, subscribe, hit the like button, bell icon to be notified on the next video. And I'll see you guys around. Cheers. Bye.